Hi, my name is Fabian. I'm a minimalist from Switzerland and I'm sharing my thoughts as well as my journey about investing, personal growth and finance. Sometimes I like to talk about random things like in today's video about my 10 tips for Tesla drivers. So let's go. Okay, so the Tesla has a future. Whenever you're in drive, driving below eight kilometers per hour, you can switch the car immediately into reverse without stepping on the brake pedal. So this makes navigating very easy. You can drive front, check a parking slot, go into reverse and immediately park. This makes the car very agile. Okay, this one is a bit confusing. Whenever you are on a steep hill, you can press the park button once and the car parks. But there's actually a second option where you press the park button longer and then people say it's supposed to lock the brakes more and tighter. This is actually not true. The only thing it's doing, it's trying to lock the wheels again. So this is why you only hear a small tick, but actually the brakes lock the same when you just press the normal park button. Tesla is a very nice navigation system, which I use all the time. Now, for example, when we are planning a hike on the weekend, I have the hike planned on my iPhone. And as soon as we leave, I can basically uh, share the location of the hike with the Tesla and the Tesla automatically navigates there. So let me show you this on this phone here. I have Burger King open on Google Maps. And as soon as I press the share button and select the Tesla, it sends the location on the phone selected automatically to the Tesla and it will navigate there. Very easy, super handy. If you ever go into a car wash station under service, you can find the car wash mode. Basically what it does is it locks all the doors, um, rolls up all the windows and disables all the sensors and cameras. So nothing goes wild in the car while being in the car wash. So you can turn this on right here and it's all set. So if you're going through a car wash where your car gets towed, you have to press on the brake, go into drive and activate roll free. Now your car is in neutral and basically can get towed. In the Tesla, there's a lot of technology included. Whenever there is something wrong, you have two options to restart your car. There's a soft reset, which means you have to press these two buttons here for around 10 seconds. Then the whole infotainment system and the screen is restarting. You can even do this while driving. Now the second option is a hard reboot where all the systems shut off the doors and everything and it will restart the whole car. This you cannot do it while driving. Now I had to do this hard reset once after the car got delivered, it was stuck in an update and over the phone call with a guy from Tesla, he was able to restart the software update. But before I was able to install the software update, I had to do a hard reset. Other than that, I never had to use this function. You know, the Tesla is equipped with cameras all around and it has the sentry mode. This is whenever you're parked and it senses people near your car, it will turn on the camera and record it. But there's actually another option under your car and safety, scroll a bit down and here you have the section dash cam. And you can actually activate it that while pressing your honk right here, that it records or saves the last 10 minutes. This is very helpful. So the Tesla recently got an update and lets you now customize the icons you are using down here in the dashboard. So how can you do that? You just need to hold the icons longer, like for example on your iPhone, and you can then move in whatever you want. For example, if you want to have your seat heaters back here, you can place them here and they get placed on the left and right side for the driver and passenger immediately. The same with the apps. If you rather have your calendar down here than the phone, you can do that. 
Very simple, very easy and fully customizable. Whenever you're leaving your car and you have kids in the back that stay in the car or a dog, it's very important that you use this feature right here. Under climate, you can actually turn on the dog mode. Whenever this dog mode is activated, the sentry mode is turned off, but the climate in the Tesla will be kept at whatever temperature you set it to. And as well, the cameras inside the car are deactivated. So the alarm does not go on when your kids start moving in the car. Every Tesla comes with a standard autopilot included. Now what it does, basically three things. It keeps the lane adjust to the speed limit set and keeps the distance to the one driving in front of you. There are a few tricks around navigating with the autopilot. First of all, you can activate the autopilot by moving the lever down twice. You hear a short ring and the lines on the screen appear in blue. If you want to adjust to the speed, you have three options. You can move this scroll wheel up or down and adjust the speed in single steps. If you want to adjust it faster, you can actually adjust it in five steps by moving the scroll wheel in a fast motion up or down. Third, if you want to adjust to the speed signs shown on the screen, which a Tesla takes either from signs or map material, you can hold down the lever to take over the speed. Lastly, if you want to adjust the distance to the one driving in front of you, you can move the scroll wheel button to the left or right to adjust the distance and you can see the adjustments made on the screen. These were my 10 tips for Tesla drivers. Now, if you're interested in Teslas, I made another video about my favorite things about my Tesla Model 3. You can check this video out right here and I will see you there. Bye bye. Hi, my name is Fabian. I'm a minimalist from Switzerland and I'm sharing my thoughts as well as my journey about investing. <laughs>